think about how we already view nature and how we look at nature mm. from our urban environment and our modern so-called society perspectives is that we have no integration or no real connection with nature and this is a very sad fact but from the angle of someone who has opened deeper to the deeper spirit and mysteries of Gaia and life itself is that humanity is showing a very sickened and twisted variation of life. It's one which is not connected. So everything which we then utilize from our surrounding environment is for self. And again, I'll continue to come back to self, 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 because this personality nature is the distortion. You see, and when we, this is why it's so important to know thyself and come to understand our personality nature so that we can transcend it. Because I'll give an example. Um, it was only a couple of years ago um, in talking with an indigenous lady from Australia where she revealed um, a, a various plant where you could say it was a herbal cure for cancer. You know, and, I, and many indigenous people from around the world and from our own country, Australia here, have such cures. But again, it's treated with sacredness and respect and with a deep integration and a, and a deep interfacing with the spirit of Mother herself. Now, in that process, it was, you know, in revealing that, it was a, almost a form of test because a few of us went out and we said, oh, you know, there is a plant here which can assist curing cancer. Now, what a few people did, because in our modern society, a lot of people are getting cancer more and more. This is due, you know, to the fact that we ourselves have become a cancer for the planet. You know, our, our engaging with synthetic realities and, um, you know, in terms of our lifestyle and our, and our livingness, so to speak, in terms of meshed within this society, so to speak, we have become a cancer, so more and more people are actually themselves embodying mm. cancer within them. So when a few of these people who had many friends dying of cancer or were afraid of cancer found that there was a plant that could perhaps assist to cure them, again, when we say cure, it's more than just a plant which is necessary. It's a complete change and reconnection to life which will really undo the disease which we have inside you know, so to speak. But when they, when they found this out, they went around the countryside, particularly around my small hometown here, and started ripping out plants from everywhere. So without no, without no thought of the cycles of nature, of when to pick it, how to pick it, without no real understanding, it was just break the land again, utilize it for self, and seek a, a biological or chemical way, you know, a biological chemical way of being able to treat it without the inner change first. And so by tearing up, you know, hundreds and hundreds of plants around, these people thought they were doing a good thing, trying to assist the people around them, you know, to cure cancer. But really, they were only damaging the earth more, not really understanding the processes that that plant needs to go through to grow without the sense of sacredness is that why should we just tear up an entire area shouldn't we leave some behind you know so when we're talking about the modern societal mind is that because we've become so disconnected and unintegrated from the spirit and the respect and the disciplines of nature as well that in the end, I would say, of course, most indigenous people are going to hold back that knowledge because we ourselves are not worthy of it, you know. So until we really take heed and build that gentle, that strong disciplinic nature, you know, that um, disciplinic um, nature within ourselves so that we can work and assist and utilize nature in the right way, with the right method and the right means, then I would say we are not worthy of receiving Mother Earth's bounties. And that was a great lesson to learn because 
you know, I, I look out today and we can see with modern agricultural systems how we're just used to raping and taking from the planet. You see, and this is so embedded in our mindset, there is nothing to be put back in our modern mindset. There's no respect for the processes of nature. So, I've really got to say to people is to take time to reflect and look deep and ask, you know, instead of trying to go out there and trying to find natural methods, again, coming to the point, unless we've reconnected with the divine spirit within ourselves first, that even trying to assist the earth or others from the personality angle, which is only doing it from a, from a point of reference to intellect or a survival capacity, is only going to end us um, in an imbalanced reality. You see, and this, and this is what we've got to learn. When we start to reconnect with the divine soul and spirit of things and life itself, then we're not so in survival mode. We remove the fear from the core of our hearts and we are then offering ourselves up to the processes of life and learning to dance with her.